Well, here we go. Fun, fun. Yum, yum. I just remind myself of Angry Grandpa. Somebody I could be watching right now. His reaction video to Yo Gabba Gabba or whatever that... <laughs> whatever that show on Nick Jr. was called. Alright, so this one's just a waiting game. Alright, I thought I was going to record some Ned Ed and Eddie tonight, but it's getting late, so I figure I'll wait till tomorrow. And now we got this shit to deal with. Seriously, how the fuck are we supposed to dodge this? Okay. So we hide in the trees over here, and then we have the fashion model coming. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. What the fuck was that? And we're probably going to have to sneak past Tuba Boy over here. Oh, 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 hang on. No. Let's say over here. Come on, come on! Wah! Spuckled! So it's all a race against time. It was against time. Show off! Haha! -ha, I am such a cool fashion model with my flinchy mustache. I'm scared of that for some reason. It's not like I'm a clown. With a big with like a big nose and like flaps in the air the every time you move your head. And you have like big cartoon inflated lips that you probably got like a Botox injection for. Try to guess where I got that from. Alright. So I edgy. To get past this piece of my god. Wait for it. Go! Okay, load, 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 load. Alright. Just stay behind. Why does this remind me of Evil Within? Because I know that Evil Within has like a, has like a DLC campaign where you can't fight for most of it. Alright, so the strategy is just to stay here, wait for him to walk a bit. Alright, now all you can do is just sneak like a ninja behind the fashion model. Don't run because then you'll wake up Tuba Guy over here. And now... Run! <laughs> nice! Yeah! I'm on a raft that's like a couple of inches long, so... No, it has like a couple of inches of extra space, so yeah, they can't get him there. So, at least I survived it, and we're back with Piglet. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Oh, thank you very much, Tigger. Don't mention it. Yes, oh, thank you. It's what Tiggers do the best. <laughs> and now bounce into space. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Can we walk on this without doing a Resident Evil movement? Yes, we can. <laughs> oh, my God. I did, like, a cough and a sneeze in one. Like, a, it started as a sneeze, and then it came out as a cough. I don't know what happened. Oh, I feel the real sneeze coming to me. Come on. I think I'm fine. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. 
Apparently a crow is here. Where's the fashion model? There it is. Come on, fashion model! You screwed around my friend Tigger! Nobody fucks with the Tigger who bounces! But then again, he's the only Tigger that bounces because he's the only Tigger. Ha uh ha! -huh. Son of a motherfucker. How close is he? Oh wow, only two hits! Pathetic. Alright, here we go. Up. Oh. How very curious. I believe. And we oh 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 finally we find a use for some of this stuff. Hmm, the key or food? I thought I wasn't gonna get the food for a minute. Get it. I'm wondering if the original voice actor for Piglet did this, did the voice of Piglet here. Why? Because the movie that this game is based on, well, loosely, um... I think was the last time the original voice actor from Pi for Piglet from The Many Avengers of Winnie the Pooh did the voice. He was like the longest running actor of the original actors, doing it from Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh to the 1980s TV series. Because, yeah, there was um, a TV series in the late 80s, which even had like an 80s theme song to it and everything. Then there was a couple of specials that were released like throughout the. No the, the well, there was like a couple of specials in the, in like the mid to late 90s, one of which was like Pooh's Grand Adventure. Which was the basis of the party game on the PS1. Another, yeah, that's another adventure I have to take a look at. With the storybook characters of Winnie the Pooh. And then there was a live-action series, like, costumes called The Book of Pooh, which I think had the voice actors coming back. Well, both new and old. And then there was Piglet's Big Movie in 2003. By that point, the only original... FUCK! I didn't survive! <laughs> right, son of a bitch. We're g we'll get our pep talk from Christopher Robin after this, but... Alright, nice. Yeah, but by the time of... Well, I also forgot the Tigger movie. Um... Let's see. The original actor for Pooh, while his last project was actually Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, since it was like a compilation of several shorts. Oh wow, those shadows are kind of creepy, but... To overcome your fears, you must believe in yourself. Let's see, um, the original actor for... I'm not sure about Rabbit and, um, Kanga and Roo. I think their actors changed all the time. I think the original actor for Owl, his last project was the TV series. Uh, Tigger, the original voice actor for Tigger's last project was Pooh's Grand Adventure. They originally wanted him for the Tigger movie, but his voice was just a bit more old sounding for the character. So instead they got him to do the voice for the theme park ride at Disney World or Disneyland, I don't know. And then the original actor for Piglet was the only was basically the only one left by Pi by Piglet's Big Movie, and then Piglet's Big Movie was his last project with Piglet. So, yeah. It really was Piglet's Big Movie. Alright. Tuba half a lump. Let's do this. I wonder what your gimmick is still, Tuba Guy. Other than the fact that your trunk is is literally a tuba. So you're even more loud than regular L of fuck. What the fuck? So that's his freaking gimmick. He blows up your prompts. Yeah, well you waited a good deal of time to do that. This one mail did I get? 
I keep getting notifications from YouTube that I have videos uploaded that I uploaded days ago. Alright, fashion model, let's do this again. Ha uh ha! -huh. Alright, that's good. Ha uh ha! -huh. Now we're upside down, I know, so threatening. Jesus. Now we're upside down. Fuck! This thing's so goddamn disorienting. Alright, run away. These guys are no threat as long as you can press X at the right time. Jesus Christ. The thing is so goddamn disorienting, but hey, at least it's challenging me. So now we're good. Alright, here we go. And that should do it! Yes! So we killed them all. Now, oh my god. I collect cookies, god damn it. Don't want to get caught doing nothing but collecting cookies, hmm? The little stump has nothing. Do these rocks have anything? No. No. And no. Alright. Do these twees have anything? They do not. That's sad. I was expecting to get some cookies out of a tree. I want there to be cookie trees out there. That would be every kid's dream! Being able to go up to a tree, kicking it, and getting some cookies down? That would be Angelica's favorite... Angelica Pickles. Is, um... Dream come true. And I don't want to find more cookies Piglet right now. Could not work out how to operate. If Piglet Are you fucking kidding me? I guess we gotta go back. Alright. Rabbit's exactly dream is such a big exploration challenge. I know. So, what else is going on? Let me kick this tree, there's nothing. This stick has nothing. Why? It's the perfect candidate to have something! So, come on! Does this log over here have any? Finally! Right, 80. Piece of wood over here has some. What else is there for me to say? I'm just collecting cookies. So... I guess we just have to... go back and find a door to use that key on. I guess there's a fashion model here. Gotta run. He's gonna corner me. Or he's just gonna give up for some reason. <laughs> 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 
Yeah! Face me, coward! Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! Alright, we gotta run. Alright, now I'm the coward, but now it's fight! What the hell are you doing, pig? Alright, here we go. This is a bit awkward. Nice. Now he's dead. So... Hmm. Now we gotta get more cookies. Very important. We need to make sure Piglet's... Uh, I say Piglet. Um, we gotta make sure Piglet can do nothing... <laughs> no, can do more than just blow bubbles at them. Seriously, those bubbles better pack a huge punch. Like, you better have something really bad that could put these things down. So... Hmm. I'm gonna go use the key. And you know, I'm thinking about recording videos tonight, but not for Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I'll probably do Ed, Ed, and Eddie tomorrow, and then... Tonight, I'm either going to do Wolfenstein or Saints Row. A small key is just what one would need to open a small lock. And that is a, that is a small key for a small door. What the hell are you talking about? What? So you're saying, oh, a small key is perfect for a small lock. Well, I'm taking it to a big-ass door, so what the hell is your problem? Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, that's not even like a chain lock. Like, that one would have at least made a little sense. Alright, what's in here? What the fuck? Gears of... Not Gears of War, but these are gears that... Apparently are the spawn of the feather that I caught earlier, because they have the exact same legs, and these are just as creepy as they were before. Up, oh, got one. Alright, let's see... Oh, shit. Come on. Give that little gear. Little piglet's not gonna hurt you. Not at all. Not at all. Well, I'm not gonna hurt you right now, but... I may consider not bashing your brains right the fuck in. For how aggravating you are to Piglet. Because Piglet is a bit of a sociopath. For how he puts... Hell, he even may be suicidal for how he puts lit candles in his pocket all the time. And where the hell is this other gear? Is it glit? Oh! Oh! Okay. There we go! They all formed a big gear! There's a shadow of something right there. That popped up. Oh, see? Hello! And so, Piglet retrieved the cup. Bop, bop. Alright, let's fight. Nice. These are significantly easier. Them get better at you pressing the arrow presses. And 
And then we have the other one. So many bubbles in their face, it's gonna suffocate them. And now he's good. Dead. Alright, now let's collect some cookies, and then I'm gonna see if I can purchase that scare. And if I can't, then I have to go save the game, because I'm done for the night with Piglet. I know, I feel sad I have to leave a little bit, but I got other games to play for other Let's Plays. Because I've got other adventures to see. I, w I wonder whatever happens to the new guy at, that's, run that's running with the Third Street Saints. I'm wondering what B.J. Blazkowicz is doing to save the world from the Nazis. And I'm wondering what the Eds are doing in the cul-de-sac and if they're going to be running more scams anytime soon. Though, I gotta be honest, well, for pretty obvious reasons, I don't endorse scamming in real life because, well, let's face it, some scammers out there are freaking sick. Heartless people, you know? Look up babysitting scams. They are Jesus. Well, let's see, well, don't get me wrong, some scams out there are quite obvious, and people should know better not to fall for them. Oh, 130. Well, you know, let's get the cookies and get the scare. But... But... I've looked up a lot of scams, because let's face it, I'm obsessed with, like, crime documentaries and all that, so I can't help looking at stuff like that up, you know? Because it is pretty interesting to see how creative criminals can get. It's stealing people's money and trying to contact potential murder or victims. But... My God. Some scams out there... There's employment scams. Like, people may be desperate for work because maybe they just lost their job and then they're being offered a good office position. I mean, well, sometimes the paycheck is too cartoonishly big to be true. But, let's face it, in other cases, it is designed legitimately. Like, there's also babysitting scams, like potential babysitters. Like, in some of these babysitting scams, these scammers will tell, like, a big sob story about how, oh, they, they, they were in an accident, a lot of their family is now dead, and, oh, they need someone to help them so bad. <laughs> and then there's some good-hearted people that legitimately want to help people who've gone through tragedy, and they just become scapegoats for it. It's freaking sick. Oh, by the way, no, kicking the carrots gets us nothing, but... Oh, can we kick the thing that trapped Rabbit in here? Nope. So... Bottom line is... Please. Never endorse cri criminals and their actions. But then again, that's kind of a given. People know not to support criminals, you know? Well, that's not all of them. Come on, I want this video to be too long. That sign gives us nothing. Does this fence post give us something? No. We're not exiting the dream. But then, let's see, what other types of scams are there? Well, a lot of them are just the stupid ones that no one in their right mind would fall for. Like, there's the Prince scam, where a prince from Africa is saying, Oh, they're so... Oh, they want to give away their fortune to someone. You're the lucky winner. Oh, there we go. Then lottery scams are... Pr 
pretty are pretty much no brainers because well you need to enter the lottery in order to win it and if you get and if you win a lottery you didn't enter then obviously that's not real um yeah, honestly, the only scams that are very sickening to look at are ones that offer employment to people who may need it. But here's the thing. For all those saying they can't find jobs or all that, well, don't forget, there's plenty of people hiring out there. You just gotta know where to look. And don't forget, if you for some reason can't make money, well, your family will be there to support you when, whenever you need it. Don't think you're alone. Everyone goes through their own hardships, and the best way to deal with it is turn to your friends and family. Don't be afraid to be ashamed. And that is the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen tonight. And that just made me lose my train of thought. Giving a motivational speech to everyone. Yeah. Now I have to take a break. But to end my speech, yes. Know that even if you don't have... If you, if you don't have friends or and for some odd reason you don't have a family, know that there's people who care. Yes, the professional industry does care too. Psychiatrists and therapists are paid to be your best friend. Sure, you may not have the money for it, but hey, there's some that volunteer. So, really? It's all about having good social interactions with at least a couple of people. So, I suppose keep that in mind if you go through some kind of hardship. Alright, enough of the depressing talk. If, if if you do consider it depressing talk, or if you consider it motivational, whatever. Um, wow, I just sound like I didn't care about anything I said. Well, obviously I do, but... Mm. Alright, see you all in the next video. And I gotta know what I'm doing next. Gotta figure it out.